Hello, this is Seth Wayling, and welcome to another In Car Movie Review. Tonight, I saw Ant-Man and the Wasp. Stars Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Pena, Michael Douglas, Michelle Viper, and Lawrence Fishburne. I think I got them all. Anyway, this is a direct continuation of the first Ant-Man in some ways. It takes place before Avengers Infinity War. Although it has two secret videos in the credits, just to tell you up front. And what has happened was Paul Rudd's character since, since God helped Captain America in the Winter Soldier, remember, he is now on house arrest. Because he's on house arrest, he gets very creative with his daughter, you know, different games that they play and different stuff that they do within the house because he can't take it in the park. He's under watch of the FBI. He wears a, an ankle bracelet. And the FBI seems to come over whenever they want to. That being said, he has a dream. And it's a really weird dream it has to do with the Pims. He's not talking to the Pims right now, but he has a dream about hope and the Herald. He just wants to find out what that's about, so he goes and searches them out, and it turns into a whole backstory involving well, basically the Pims and mostly Hope. Out of Wilders, this gangster wanting to get his hands on the lab. He remember when he drunk the lab down to the size of a suitcase? Yeah, blood's in play. Also, there's this new character called the Ghost, and she, she's kind of a sympathetic bad guy like the Winter Soldier. You don't really hate her. You understand why she is what she is. She pops up to give Ant-Man and the Wasp and Harold Pym trouble. It's, it's really very interesting. Don't forget you have Michael Pena being the Luis character, you know, he's very funny. It's not a surprise like it was the last time, but it made the film, he made the film very enjoyable. And you know, this is more of a family, not a family film, but they're a part of a family and you you get the family vibes. In this film, really, I enjoyed it. It was it was very good. It's rated about seven point nine on IMDb, seven point nine out of ten, and I think it's worth it. You should see this one. It's it's just so much fun because not only do, do Ant Man and the Wasp shrink and get larger, but the building does and. The cars do, you have seen this on the ads, and a pet's on dispenser, and all these other more creative things. They play with size a lot in this one, and, and it's good. So if you like this, click like, subscribe, hit my bell for notifications, visit my links in the comment box below, and I'll see you at the movies. Take closer to each other, so much to discover.